Hello, my name is I2 Noel, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a video on how to kind of play Gorilla Tag. These are just the one, two basics. These are not very advanced skills. These are not like the big advanced skills. I'm gonna make videos on how to do advanced skills. If uh, when I do, there might be a few in the cards and stuff, but, uh, but mainly just check my channel because I can't guarantee I will card it. If you want to see that. Speaking of checking my channel, did you know only a very small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed? I know every YouTuber says this, but please subscribe to join the lucky percent. But basically, our first like little first little uh, thing of how to be good at Gorilla Tag, because we're getting right into it. Mr. Beast tell, told me that I'm only supposed to keep my uh, intros three seconds long. But basically, if we hit, but basically hit uh, this is like wall. This is uh, just normal walking, or I guess running or swinging your arms around. I, I don't know what to say. Basically, you're gonna go arm to arm, and I see whenever I teach someone arm to arm before I, I might tell them this, they always go like this. But no, you wanna go bounce. You wanna go bounce forward. This is just a little like tip, but it, and I'm not sure if it helps anything. But I like to put them in like this things. I don't know, it just helps me get angles better. You see, it's not really because th there's no hitboxes in there. It just helps me like kind of measure the angle better. I don't know. Helps me. May it help you? Might not. But basically, if we, but basically, you just put your arms out and kind of extend them and just push off and walk parallel to the surface you're on. Remember that. Second one, if you this is one mainly for if you're new to VR, remember it's just in VR. I, I've seen so many people do this. You see, they're playing Gorilla Tag, they're playing some VR game for the first time. This goes for any VR game, and they uh, think how you move is doing this. Well, no, that would get you straight hitting something and breaking your headset. So remember, it's not real. If you're ever scared of something, just kind of remember. It's just Gorilla. It's just VR. That goes for any game on VR. Like, don't run into something. But basically, our next one is the thing that I, a lot of people will sh will tell me is what they want me to teach them is double walls. So first, I'm gonna go about the like main double walls thing. So you're gonna hug the wall. This is called pinch climbing. You hug the wall, throw it down and grab it. Now, a mistake I see a lot of people do is they grab it and they do it like this. And, it, and you can do it on the edge, kinda, but it makes it a lot harder. And, and because is once you already have it there, if you wanna adjust, then you, kind of go outwards and it's hard to recatch even though i recatch that just because that's just because i know gorilla tag and just remember you don't need to go as fast as i'm doing i'm just as, as people as so many people do it because at the end of the day it just matters if you can get up there and then after learning how to get up there you can kind of learn how to do it fast now next one is how to kind of hit both of these walls and go side to side and up this is actually unlike you know pinch climbing it helps and i would say is a very big part but i wouldn't exactly call it necessary i would say it's a good idea to learn it because it's gonna help you but it's not actually it's not necessary if you want to learn a bunch of the stuff we're gonna go later on but this is completely necessary if you want to learn anything else going on. First, you need to learn to do this. So, I put my hands in triangles. You don't need to do this. But, you just hit side to side. So many people hit side to side like this. But, remember, a lot of people just do this and think it works. No, hit up. Hit up side to side but also side to side and up like don't just grab side to side grab side to side and you'll see you see what i'm doing here you see let me reenact my knot on the ground so it's easier you see i go hit it and up hit it and up this is it in motion 
And by the way, people will uh, shake their screen like this. They'll go like this. And sometimes I do it for montages, but it really just makes it look hard. It's just making it look harder than it is. You don't need to do that. It's not necessary. It's just meant to make it look harder. <laughs> now, a lot of people would say to do this area first after, but I'll be honest, I don't really agree with that. I think the first thing you should learn after that is juking because juking is kind of the next step no and no um, basically you're gonna want to push up basically this is one of the jukes you see the juking is something that will throw the monkeys off you see and get you away you see if they're running towards you and you don't know what to do and you hit up they go forward there if they don't catch you and then you're able to do that and remember one thing your hand can go through the wall. This is why people are able to do things like elevator climbing, which if you can tell, I'm not very good at. But basically, next time I'm gonna teach another juke, I'm gonna teach three jukes. Next one, slide juke. It's such a necessary juke. Well, not really necessary, but it's just an easy juke. You see, you're gonna wanna go on here, and your hand, your arm doesn't go, just goes right through it. So you're gonna wanna use that. You'll see you can actually practice it a bit by just learning to get your. Now, I would say uh, learning, whichever you're, if you're having troubles doing this, then. Uh, then that's what I'll teach right now. But if you're having troubles getting on the edge and curling around it, then skip to this timestamp. Ah, uh, basically a, a slide juke is when you do this. And basically for that, I would recommend a good way to practice is by hitting up and is hitting up and side and just getting used to uh, and going on the more thin parts like instead of going right there I see a lot of people try right off the bat because that's also smaller it makes it harder uh, than uh, do it over here because it's less because it's more like skinny it's less thick and don't do it up here or here do it here it's very skinny and you can do that all right, now, if you're having troubles with the catching on to it, I would recommend practicing getting onto the edge and doing it, and then just get used to, and then keep trying and going a little forward until eventually you're able to make it to. And for curling, you're going to want to walk and spin in real life. If you're really good, you can do this and just like get up. But no, I would recommend for new players to do this. You see, you're gonna wanna walk over, curl, and then launch yourself back. And now, if you do it really fast, you go over here, and the reason it works is because they think you're going over here when you go over here. Also, that one where I taught you to go through here, if you're in a lobby with someone you know is oblivious to this juke from doing it on them already, do this. Do this. Just go right through it. They'll stay there. And you'll get ahead. All right, now we're gonna go over to wall climbing and running, which are two of the hard, which, uh, which, so many people get this wrong because they don't know that you can uh, kind of get it down, break it down. Basically, remember what we did on this area here. I would want you before doing this to practice going up and down on that a bit and getting pretty good at that before doing this because you're it's the same side to side and up motion basically you go side to side and up and then just it's kind of just the same it's literally the same thing i promise you it's the same thing it's just that you have it's just that this time it's a little flatter so uh yeah you just gotta kind of kind of keep trying you gotta hit side to side and up now this is one where i would especially recommend doing this because it just gets you kind of i don't know it helps you also precisely do this if you want you can do it like this i'm just better doing it like this now here's another thing this is one of the things you want to do it like this completely flat let me just get back up there 
It's a wall climbing. Basically, if <laughs> wall wall running, not wall climbing, wall running. Wall running is when you do this. You take advantage of that. Wait, let me let me go over here so I can kind of take a little get a good more stack from it. I didn't even know these were here in the new update. But you're just gonna wanna take advantage of that half a second you get on there. Oh god, I really failed that. Uh, not failed that doesn't mean failed that. I mean, I literally just whacked my controller onto a bunch of st onto my desk. Remember to think like a monkey. You don't need to go to the advanced stuff. You just gotta see something and learn it. You see, wouldn't recommend going through slippery. It's just that I'm. I, I'm better doing it that way. I don't know. Find what works best for you on where to go. But I would recommend starting. This is where I learned how to wall climb and run. Up here. Because it's like right over here. Because it's the most slanted hill over here. There is this. Which you kind of have to grab your hand around. But you can kind of avoid it if you do it through there. If you're not able to do that. You just kind of. You don't have to do it up there. I just choose to. That's kind of the wall climbing and running there. Now, for our last thing that I want to teach. Branching. Branching is when you jump branch to branch. Now, this is what you do. You go, basically, you just got to learn to jump branch to branch. And you got to learn to get very good, like, grasp of all of the things everything just get a very good grasp use your pinch climbing to go up here that i taught you this is what it's use what it's mainly useful for i would say remember to use that a lot remember don't stay there because then that's tree camping and nobody likes tree campers tree campers are people who just stay in the tree the whole hold the whole game you see you just and this is actually where that area where if you learned how to do it through there might help you. Through this. Through stuff like that. Or you might have to go a bit forward. Remember, if you uh, don't see any trees in your area or the leaves see far away, remember, down there, wait till you don't see any lava monkeys that are coming there. And then try to hop to one. Because if, if you fall, you know, that I know that down there, which is one of the areas where I fall down a lot, if there's not a, lava, a lot of lava monkeys, it's an area where you can easily climb back up. That's why I would recommend trying to, like, go for a different branch. But it is kind of hard to, because you'll see down here, there's this right here. There's just this right here, and you can easily just <laughs> jump branch to branch. You're going to want to do, again, this, because you can kind of, like, get on the edge of them. I don't know, branching is one of those things that I feel like is hard to teach in a YouTube video. You just got to kind of combine everything I taught you and use it on the tr everything this video has kind of hopefully taught you and use it in the trees. And just kind of, yeah, there you go. I would recommend, though, as a starter goal, don't go anything too crazy. Go from here and try to branch straight. to here you ran straight up to stump don't need to because from the thing over there at wall to wall you can go up there i'm just saying for a little nice goal for you to do so yeah there you go i hope you guys really like this tutorial i hope it helps you guys uh i wanted to just help people learn gorilla tag so that you know it's fun it's a good game you can have some fun you can pick up jeremy fritz gerald over here and yeah Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that view, and I will see you next time. Bye!